Welcome back to I Shine Connect. So for I Shine Connect season two, it was my first season of doing the TV show. I guess it was kind of a strange way to meet, to be just like thrown onto the set of something together and act like we were very best friends when I didn't even know her last name yet. <laughs> I'm sorry I traded you to Sparkles. It's okay. I'm sorry I traded you to Alden for a free guitar lesson. One of the directors came in and he said, are you good at um, like improvising things, just like, you know, just making things up off the spot? And I said, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, sh I'm pretty sure I'm good at it. And he goes, okay, well, here you go. And he handed me this whole monologue. And he's like, this girl is out, so you have to do it now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to this year's Fantasy Figure Skating Drafting. <laughs> so I was doing this whole thing on, like, on this drafting for ice skating that I didn't even know what that was. Now, a few quick reminders. There's no do-overs, there's no trade-backs till the second round, and there's no drafting of Russian skaters that haven't been alive since the 1980s. Now that I look back on the video, I just laugh so hard because it was so nerve-wracking. But I guess I made friends that way, so. There were a ton of fun things that we did. Chelsea Music, she is so much fun. We had this one episode where Chelsea broke Anthony's guitar. Oopsies. Chelsea was like diving behind the bar so that she could get out of Anthony's sight. We had to put cushions back there so she didn't hurt herself. <laughs> we were trying to cover for her and I got to smash Anthony's face in pizza. Eat up boys, it's gonna be a long shooting day. Probably my favorite part of the whole season. Hey, I'm Doug, I'm Troy on iShine Connect and I love working with the rubies because uh, they shine like a ruby. I remember when uh, I misunderstood the Ruby's text and what they wanted to eat. Uh, I brought them yak. Apparently, they didn't like it. And we got our soup of the day, which is tofu and a side leg of yak. Tofu tomato with yak leg? Yeah, and I tell you what, if you guys order this again, it's gonna cost extra. This was hard to find. <laughs> he brought me out this huge yak leg on a plate, and it was raw, and it was disgusting. Yeah, TTYL. Talk to you later, not yakety grossness. Oh, because I thought that, oh well, enjoy. <laughs> I tried to make Alexis uh, pay $1,000 for the mission surcharge, and um, she seemed to have a problem with it. Um, <laughs> I have a question about my bill. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I only got water and salad, and my bill is over $1,000. Wow, okay, well then, yeah, let's, let's take a look at it, all right? Let's, let's break it down. And then on the bottom here, it says a mission surcharge, $1,000. You know what? Let's go back to the tip here. Let's forget the tip, all right? You don't need to worry Wait about Wait a tip. minute. I uh, continue to try to get them to hire me as their dancer. I hear the Rubies are looking for a new <laughs> yeah. backup dancer. Seriously? Yeah. I yeah. love the Rubies, yep. man. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, boys, making some noise, noise. Oh. oh, and I do have the moves. Don't kid yourself, okay?
What would happen if we actually decided to change? If we used the Bible. If we used the Bible. The Bible. To help us with everyday situations. Our friends, our music. Our families. Is there any topic the Bible doesn't cover? This. 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 This is iTopics. Do you ever sit around and wonder, what is worship? I actually do. Because, you know, being in a Christian band and all, worship is pretty important to what I do. So, in fact, I looked it up in the dictionary, and it means to regard with extravagant respect or devotion. So, basically, it means complete devotion to something. Now, usually when we're thinking of worship, we're thinking about worshiping God, right? Well, unfortunately, most of the time it's not the case. Whether that be sports, music, video games, it's whatever we spend all of our time on, and time and energy and what we think about. And in fact, the Bible is pretty clear about what we should worship. In fact, in Luke 4, 8, Jesus says, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. Right there, it's showing us that we need to worship God and Him alone. He's not being selfish by saying we only need to worship Him. He knows that the things of this world, the things that consume us, they'll never satisfy us. They're going to leave us empty every time. And He is the only one that can satisfy our hearts. And He is the only one that is worthy of our worship. We'll be right back after this short break. Hi, I'm Chris Chambliss. You know, baseball is full of opportunities. In 1976, I had the opportunity to help the Yankees into the World Series. And this home run did it. Another place full of opportunities is the Army, where you can travel, learn a valuable skill, further your education, and get generous financial aid for post-service studies. So consider the Army, where you can be all that you can be. Call this number toll-free or see your local Army representative. The preceding message was furnished by Major League Baseball.